Hello friends of the earth, welcome to the channel here on the Dan McKenzie channel. Part of the Bear Claw Regime Network of entertainment and news and reviews and my two cent fucking opinion. Okay. Uh, the good news is that I've dropped 35 pounds since February 29th. 35 pounds. I'm down to 304 pounds from 342. So it may even be a little more than that. I'm going to say 35. Uh, well, I couldn't fit in my favorite clothes. I was like, I'm freaking out. This is bullshit. So, and I'm going to continue that until I drop to 250 or more. I'm very determined. It's the only way I'm going to survive and live. Uh, now, let's talk about the coronavirus. If you got the coronavirus or you got sick of the flu, they say take 400 milligrams of gustorphin, which is basically 90% of the cough syrups that are out there. I say take about 1,600. Get this shit out of your lungs. It won't kill you. It might irritate your stomach, but try to eat and uh, drink some Pedialyte. You will survive the coronavirus. I'm not, I would not be surprised if I had it. I believe I had the coronavirus. I was down in Florida when they were starting uh, the cases, and I swear everybody around me was hacking and yakking. Uh, if you're out there and you tested positive for the coronavirus, do everything you can do to keep your lungs clear. Gustorphin will save your life. It will help ease the congestion out of your lungs. All that fluid and phlegm and flack they will save your life. Because that's how it kills you. I did for, I did for almost a week and I, it was a bitch. I was sick. I was ready to go to the hospital. And I said, what do I want to do? Go to the hospital and get a new dose of the uh, corona? Now, nah. Because they can't do nothing really about it. All they can do is help make you feel better. I can do that at home. I got common sense. I got brains. I can fight any motherfucker. Disease, virus, person, animal. I will win every time. Because I got the power up here. All right. I believe the Chinese government, the Chinese Communist Party fabricated this virus. I believe they sent it out to... In Wuhan, I believe this is a terroristic attack on the world. What well, easier way to get rid of a hundred thousand people or more without being accused of something is uh, make everybody sick and kill over. Research this on the internet, the news channels, especially on Fox. We need to hold the Chinese government accountable for the coronavirus. Their economy is going in the dump. They're doing everything they can to keep it afloat. They figure if, if they can do a, a human genocide by planting out a virus and people dying, that would tip the tables in their favor. The Chinese government is about their way of being, their way to hold control, their way to indoctrinate their ideals, take creativity out of the thoughts and minds of people who are creators. You're not allowed to be creative or innovative in China. You're, you're allowed to re-engineer uh, uh, someone else's hard work and make it cheaper. No creativity. No, no, no discovery. The Chinese government's plans for the One Road, One Belt initiative, I believe, is biting them in the ass big time. And thinking that this virus might change the tide in their favor by making people sick, I believe is uh, on the hands of President Xi and the Chinese Communist Party. 
Do your research, people. It's out there. It's. They said they had 1,500 deaths. I don't know the exact number. It was around there, or 1,846, whatever. Who, who the fuck knows? Then there was the account of uh, cremations done in uh, China, in the Wuhan uh, area. 56,007 cremations were done in the last quarter of 2019. The Chinese government did everything they can not to get the news out about this virus. Because I believe they, they, they purposely done this. It's an act of war, act of terrorism against the United States and the G8 nations of the world. And I think we need to deal with it militarily. We need to really pin the government of China on this one because they started it. It is the Chinese virus, as President Trump said. Trump has not made those statements, but I can see that he knows what's really going on. That's not being told in the news, but you're getting it here on the Bear Claw Regime news. I get to the real story. I get to what they're not telling you. Because I don't buy into the bullshit that 18 people say the same thing. You're a reporter. Give, create your own facts, your own stories, your own creativity. Now go by the other fucking guy and read the same fucking news script. And this news script is reading the same one. So no matter where you go, you get the same message. You don't get the message. You get my... You get what is coming out of my mouth at the moment I'm saying it. <sighs> this is not just a virus that's killing people. This is a tool of human genocide. I think that's the wrong one I used. Correct me if it was another word. They're trying to kill us off by, by contaminating areas purposely. Now, they may sound like, well, this fit nasty fish market started with animals. No, it started with the Chinese government doing bioterrorism. There, that's the word I wanted to say. Bioterrorism. People. Please, you might think I'm crazy or nuts or out on space, but do your homework. Really look between the lines here. Pure, you know what? I want to give great, great uh, thanks to our President Trump and uh, Vice President Pence for the miraculous job they are really doing. I mean, we're talking just a couple of weeks, and we got new products being made, the ventilators, and whatever the hell it needs to get going. We're talking a couple of weeks. People are complaining they're, getting, they're finally getting some stuff. They just got the shit going. Give the man a break. We will have so many ventilators before we know it. They'll be coming out of our ass, ventilating all the holes. Give it time. Hang on there, people. If you can't breathe, pour that gustorphin down and puke it out. Make yourself a, the, the reverse sickness. It's called antiviral vi treatment, I call it. Just like antibiotics use a bacteria to kill a bacteria. Listen to me. I'm not crazy. I was, I, I was ready to go down for a counter because I didn't breathe no more. I'm fighting now. I got my weight, I, I, I got things under control with my body. I figured out where I've been fucking up for so long. Now that I've got my facts, I got. I know what works, I'm gonna take it to the mount, top of the mountain. People, hang in there, we're gonna make through this. And if you're sick, pour the syrup down your throat, relax, and just chill, you know? 
Dude, wearing all these masks and rubber gloves. Come on. As soon as you take it off, you're going to shake the coronas on your face anyway. Oh, there's the corona. I just woofed it in. It was on the front of my mask. Get the fucking virus. Go through the course. Blow it out your system. Be strong. Stay healthy. Do whatever you got to do to keep active. That's the magic treatment. I promise you. I don't make the assumptions. I go by what I know had worked for me. I can't believe that we're not really being told the real stories. But I took the time to dig out the real truth about this. And I believe this is bioterrorism. People, I love you all. Like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, uh, I really need subscribers. You know, you guys want 10, 15 minutes of fun every once, twice a week or three times, whenever. I got to come up with the stuff. And when I really feel I got my uh, as many facts as I can together, that's when I put out a video. I just don't have a timeline. I'm going to put out a video every Monday. Because I don't want to make stupid shit up. I want to make shit that means things to the heart. What's really going on. Or good things I'm doing. Or projects. I gotta say, at the moment, it's like sex. It's only good when you're at the peak of it. So when I report some or I come on this YouTube thing, it's at the peak of freshness, baby. <laughs> okay, get the fuck out of here.